we did it with one in GraphQL in Deno. Or not then I should say Dino. I need to learn to say Dino. People will make fun of me online if I keep saying Deno. I think the community will take on Dino. And I want to be part of the community. Okay, tonight we're going on another little adventure to the Deno land. I've loaded up with Swedish salty licorice, accompanied with some coffee. So uh, my goal today is to make a GraphQL server in Deno. Because I thought it was something that excited me. So I found this Deno middleware thing that looks a lot like Express from Node. Uh, so I, I have some code here that I think should work. And then I have some uh, package here called oak underscore GraphQL that I hope could work. Um, so let's get into it. My plan was to try this uh, server using Postman. Let's run this, this file here. So to run the Dino file, we do Dino run. This is going to use the network, so I have to do allow net server.js. It says listening localhost 8080. And I should get hello world. So that's a good first step. So now we should add GraphQL here somehow. So we should add GraphQL as a middleware in this server. We can remove this hello world test. And now we can use that function. Apply GraphQL. Type defs is for the schema. We call that types and we'll create those in a second. And then Resolvers. We can call those resolvers. So we'll add use GraphQL service route. This is what the documentation says. Let's define a type here. And now is where we're going to use the GQL function. Const types equals. This is actually a function call, even though it doesn't look like it, but that's one way to call a function in JavaScript actually. So we have a type here of a data type, and I think for this one it would be fun to use dinosaurs. So let's let's have a type called dino. Dinosaur has a name, which is a type string. And I know there are at least two emojis that are dinosaurs. In order to make it easier and more fun, we could make an image that is also a string that will be an emoji. We should have we should make a query and let's do get dinos that would return an array of type Dino it needs to be of that type it needs to be an array that should be it for the type definition I think instead of using a database I'm just going to use a variable for the data so the const Dino's is equal to an array we can just create our dinosaur here the name of servers Rex image mm. so we have dinos which is same follows this schema here so let's create the resolver that would return all the dinos const resolvers equals to object and a query we have a function called getDinos. 
and we return denotes. We have a query called getDenotes that returns an array, and this resolver returns an array. We have the types here, we have the resolvers here. So let's just start this server and see if we get any errors. This is wrong. It should be from demo lab. Oak underscore graph one. I was copying from the from the export. I'm such an idiot sometimes. Now let's try to run it. Allow methods is not a function. Allow methods. Okay, now it's actually running here. In GraphQL, you just have one endpoint. Post in some a body that defines what data we want to get back. So we are running a query called get denotes and that returns name and image. We did it. We're running GraphQL in Deno. Not then I should say D no. I need to learn to say D no. People will make fun of me online if I keep saying D no. I think the community will take on D no. And I want to be part of the community. The next thing would be to remove the name of the image to see that it really works, that it's really GraphQL, because that's one of the strengths of GraphQL that you can query for what you want. So, yes, we're doing it. That's, that's the best feeling, something works. Okay, so what do we want to do next now? Let's try creating a mutation here. Type mutation, add. Dino. Now it should take parameters. So is it like this? Name is a string. Type result type. Done. Boolean. So this can return. Now let's add a resolver for this. So that would be a mutation. Add a demo. We take here we take the org so we can destructure name and image. And Dino. To our... Remember, if you do it like this, every time you rest restart the server, like your data is gone, right? This is just for testing, so it's it's not like a database where it's like persistent. Uh, if I restart the server, it will disappear. I will push name. Add a Dino and then get the Dinos. So let's take a new one. Let's first restart the server and see if it's, if it's broken. And it is broken. Mutation defined in the solver, but not in the scheme. Uh, it's probably this S here. This has mutations. Okay, now it's running. Here. So let's make a new one here. Is 
I don't even know if it's called Brontosaurus. Okay, I have to use double quotes here. Okay, will it break? So do we... Okay, we get done through, so maybe it has worked. Maybe we have two dinosaurs now. I will check that with this. Do we have two? Do we have two? Yes! We do have two. Awesome. Coffee and salty licorice. Also, I'm drinking from this. Because I have no big glasses. And that's very annoying. The last thing I wanted to do was to query for just a specific Dino. If you like pass in parts of its name, you should filter out the matches that would be get get Dino where we have the input argument that would be search. Otherwise, it won't match on uppercase, lowercase. You know what I mean. Return found Dino's, which is an array. Get Dino returns Dino. Oh, it has input, that's right. So that was great, we have GraphQL running in demo, it was not super hard, I have lots of more content coming up, so if you do like the content, subscribe to this channel, but only if you do like it. Thank you for this time.